We have dealt with them. All right. At the end of the first round, Ameni Ampon Senior High School has eight points. St. Augustine's College has nine points. Pope John Senior High School and Minor Seminary has 13 points. <laughs> round two. In this round, we have the Trasta AI Speed Race. It is sponsored by Trasta AI, your real world experience. Okay. So in this round, I'm going to be presenting the questions to you at the same time. Same question for all three schools. For an opportunity to answer a question, you must ring for it. May I hear your bell? I'm a Nyampon. Thank you. Yours, St. Augustine. Thank you. And yours, Pope John. If you ring and answer correctly, and it's the first attempt at the question, three points. If it's the second attempt at the question, two points. And if it's the third attempt at the question, one point. However, be mindful that if you attempt to answer a question and you are unsuccessful, you lose a point. Along those lines, from the moment you ring and you are called, and by the way, consider yourself called at the point of ringing. I will not decide which of you to call. Right? So you ring, the school is called. You have three seconds within which to provide an answer. That means you do not have the luxury of time to rehash the question, to provide a preamble, to call me madame and other accolades. Go straight to the answer. I hope that's okay. Because if three seconds elapse, you will hear a bell. And whatever it is you are saying at the time, that is your answer, which is likely to be a wrong answer. Best wishes. Ah, for questions that require calculations, you have a maximum of 30 seconds to present an answer. If there are no calculations, the usual 10 seconds will do. All right? Okay, best wishes, everyone. First set of questions, 30 seconds each. First one. A formulation of superphosphate fertilizer contains 30.0% P2O5 by mass. What is the percentage of phosphorus in this fertilizer? Yes, St. Augustine's. It is 13 point one percent. You are right. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> Uranium. Natural uranium 238 decays through a long series. Assuming an atom of uranium 238, atomic number 92, undergoes four alpha decays and four beta decays, to what periodic? Yes. Go ahead. Period. Is six. That's incorrect. I continue. <laughs> to what periodic group? Go ahead. Two. Yes, Joshua. Period two. Yes. <laughs> hey. No, 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 no. Let me continue. Will the atom of the daughter nuclide be long?
Okay. What were you saying? You didn't ring for it. You wanted to chat with me. We'll try. <laughs> okay. The right answer is group two. The question was, to what periodic group you were not paying attention? <laughs> Next one. Potassium ferrocyanide trihydrate is widely used as an anti-caking agent in table salt, given its molecular formula as K4, open square brackets, FE, open brackets, CN, close bracket, subscript 6, close square bracket, dot 3H2O. Determine its molar mass. Yes, Pope John. 422 grams per mole. Yes. <laughs> Next set, 10 seconds. What technical name is given to periods of persistent anomalously warm ocean temperatures, which can have significant impact on marine life as well as coastal communities and economies? Yes, how many ampong? Ocean warming. That's incorrect. It's called marine heat wave. Next one. How many molecules of carbon dioxide are generated for each molecule of acetyl-CoA introduced? Yes. Go ahead. Four. No. Go ahead. Two. Next one, select the primary pollutants from the given air pollutants. Phytochemical oxidants, carbon monoxide, particulate matter, sulfur dioxide. Yes, how many ampong? Sulfur dioxide. That's incorrect. The right answer is carbon monoxide, particulate matter, and sulfur dioxide. All three of them. All right. 30 seconds for this next set. If log of M and log of N are the roots of the equation, 3x squared minus 5x plus 2 is equal to 0, evaluate log of M multiplying N. Yes, Pope John. 5 over 3. Yes. Next one. Find the indefinite integral. Integral of the expression 2x minus 3 multiplying the expression x squared minus 3x plus 2. The second ex expression to the power 5 dx. Yes, Pope John. The expression x squared minus 3x plus 2. This expression to the power 6, that plus c. Like, 
plus C, C, where C is a constant. I didn't hear again. I said the expression mm -hmm. X squared minus 3X plus 2. That expression to the power 6. That whole expression plus C. That's incorrect. Who rang next? St. Augustine's. It, the expression X squared minus 3X plus 2. This expression to the power 6. Now this whole expression on 6. Then this entire expression plus C. Yes, that's the right answer. Next one. The sum of two numbers is 16. And their product is y. Find the maximum value of y. Yes, how many ampon? 64. You are right. Last set of questions for the round, 30 seconds each. For a compound microscope with an objective lens, of focal length 0 0.50 centimeter and an eyepiece of focal length 2.0 centimeter, what is the overall angular magnification if the distance between objective and eyepiece is 20? Yes. Negative 500. That's incorrect. I continue is 20.0. Go ahead, St. Augustine's. Negative 5.0 by 10 raised to an exponent of 2. That's incorrect. I continue reading. The object... Oh, oh, it's 20.0 centimeters. The object is placed 0 0.52 centimeters from the objective, and the final image is formed at infinity. The right answer is negative 250. A particle of mass, 7 times 10 raised to the power negative 27 kilogram, that moves in one dimension, is confined to a region of length 20 picometers by infinitely high potential walls. Find the ground state energy of the particle. How many ampons? Go ahead. Six, yes, sir. We have 6 by 10 raised to an exponent of negative 10 joules. That's incorrect. The right answer is 2 times 10 raised to the power negative 20 joules, or 0 0.1 electron volts. All right, last question of the round. A non-conducting disk of radius 20 centimeters has a uniform surface charge density of 5 microcoulomb per meter squared. Find the magnitude of the electric field at a point on the axis of the disk 
a distance 20 centimeters from its center. St. Augustine's. It's three by ten raised to an exponent. Three by ten raised to an exponent of five Newton per coulomb. That's incorrect. The right answer is 8 times 10 raised to the power 4 Newton per coulomb. And that's the end of the speed race. <laughs>